conservation of energy we have a ball and ball is let go from rest let's assume that it is let go from point a a height of 0.5 meters we have established the zero level at the lowest point at point b an object at rest is let go from point a vertical height 0.5 meters what is the speed of the object at b ignore frictional and rotational energies Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Total mechanical energy at A, where we let go of the object, equals total mechanical energy at the point B. At point A, what do we have? Just energy due to position. So energy due to motion at point A, which is zero actually, plus energy due to position at A, mgh, equals energy due to motion at point B, which is one half mv squared, plus energy due to position at B, which is zero. So energy due to motion at point A is zero because we are starting from rest, zero speed, so we have zero kinetic energy at the start at point A. Energy due to position at point A is mgh, where h is from the zero level. Do not forget, h can be positive, zero or negative. For our case, it is positive. Mass is in kg. M is the mass in kg. G is acceleration due to gravity in meters per second per second. And H is the height in meters. So we get this, M times 9.8 times 0.5. So when we add zero to M times 9.8 times 0.5, we get M times 9.8 times 0.5. Well, let us go to point B and what do we see? Energy due to motion at B is 1 half mv squared. It is definitely moving at point B. Energy due to position at B is mgh, where h is the height from the zero level. Because point B is where we put the zero level, the height of point B from the zero level will be zero. So potential energy at point B will be zero. So energy at point B is all due to motion, one half mv squared. So you get total energy at B is equal to one half mv squared. And so you set the total energy at B equal to total energy at A. MGH is equal to one half mv squared. MGH is equal to one half mv squared. Cancel mass, cancel mass. And what do we get? GH is equal to v squared over two. We have division by 2, multiply both sides by 2, and then take square root because square of the speed is 2gh, so we have to take square root. Substitute g equal to 9.8, substitute h equals 0.5, and what do we get? Speed is equal to 3.13 meters per second at the bottom. Isn't this nice? All we know is the height from which the object was released and we are able to get the speed at the bottom. This is very similar to a pendulum as well, all right? So try to think of the pendulum. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck and do well.